recently you um, said comments about Whoopi Goldberg that yes. kind of woof, went all the way out there. Everything I say <laughs> lately is going uh -huh. woof. Yes. I love that y'all love what I say. <laughs> and I think in, in trying, again, sift through the BS and yes. hear the whole comment, my perception of it was that people took that comment as a dig yes. to Whoopi. You know, you called her the help. Yes. And so I can see how that could be a little contradictory in saying, I love my sister, she's been dope, but she's been the help for all these years. Yes. How do you, um, how do you reconcile the two? Well, I told the truth. And what happens is we're now in a society that the truth is offensive. Mm -hmm. See, I too have been the help. Mm -hmm. And the very man Whoopi Goldberg told me to get rid of, which is my husband and my manager, mm -hmm. he said, Mama, you've got to stop being the help. Because 100 years from now, when your image is on that screen, somebody else's family benefits from that, not mine. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't saying it to do a dig. I wasn't saying it to spill no tea. I'm 51 years old. I'm too damn old <laughs> to be digging and shading. And yeah. I'm just saying the truth. Mm -hmm. When I said Whoopi Goldberg was the help, let me tell you what I meant by that. Mm -hmm. When I have a woman that says to me on national TV, I could have schooled you. Well, you wanted to school me on how I was supposed to work for free. Mm. I simply don't want that type of education. Mm. That's the education you're fine with. That's not the education I want, and that's not the education I want to pass down to my little sisters saying, you just got to do it. Let me school you. If they're not paying you, baby, that's called slavery.